This video is sponsored by Newtype. They're one of the largest online hobby stores where you can get your hobby kits, tools, and everything you need. Link in the description. Check them out. What's up, GFM? This is Justin from Studio G, and welcome to Tutorial Tuesday. And today, let's look at how you can panel line. Let's do this. Panel lining is the easiest way and also one of the first steps you can take in terms of customizing your gunpla. Secondly, it's a process of coloring in all the gaps between the panels. It can be the default lines built in already in the kit or you can make your own panel lines as well. Learn how to scribe your own panel lines right here. Here. Let's look at the paint that you will be using. This will be Tamiya Panel Line Accent Color, or you can choose Tamiya's acrylic color or any kind of acrylic color you can find. And last but not least, lacquer. So any kind of paint will do. Don't worry about it. Second would be the thinners. For example, Tam Tamiya Panel Line Accent Color would pair up really good with the enamel thinner so that you can do for your cleanup. When it comes to acrylic colors, please use acrylic thinner, okay? So because enamel thinner doesn't work with acrylic, so you gotta use the corresponding thinners. Last but not least, lacquer with lacquer thinner. Let's not forget, for cleanup, cotton buds. A lot of cotton buds. This hole here is annoying. So for panel lines, it's relatively easy. These are the default panel lines that came from the factory, like here, 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 or you can start scribing your own panel line, like here, and all these are custom panel lines, and you can learn about them in my other tutorial videos, my scribing tutorial videos. This is my Zaku. Have you guys watched the video yet? There is a giveaway. Today, I'm going to demonstrate the most common way by using the Tamiya accent color. Remember, when you are panel lining, do not paint, okay? Just dab. For example, right here, I will just dab this. And let the lines, let the paint flow by itself. You guys see it? Just dab here, dab, and dab, okay? And by using the dab technique, it is so much more easier when you're doing your cleanup. All your work will look very, very clean. And when it's not enough, just that a bit more and you are golden. Let's do the back as well. And then you are done. Just leave it for 10 to 15 minutes to dry and you are ready for the next step. So when it comes to cleaning, just now I was using the Tamiya Panel Line Accent Color. Now you gotta use the Tamiya Enamel Paint Thinner for the cleanup. First thing first, get your cotton buds, probably two or three of them, dab them in. This is the thing, previously we were using the dab technique. Basically there's not much to clean up, like for example, we have a little bit here, we have a little bit here. We have a little bit here, 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 that's all. It's not all over the place, so it's very easy for cleanups. There will be situation where you clean up accidentally right here. So what you're gonna do is retouching them. That's it. It's that easy to do all this. And it certainly doesn't take a genius to finish and do a good job out of it. So just keep practicing and you discover new stuff along the way, new techniques and new tips and tricks that you will discover by yourself. And that's how you do it. Tip number one, always use a different paint for your panel lining to your base paint. For example, if you're using acrylic or lacquer as a base paint, then for your panel line, you can go for enamel or any kind of paint as long as they are not acrylic or lacquer. Vice versa, if you're using enamel for your base paint, then go for acrylic or lacquer paint as your panel lining. This will help you a lot because when you do the cleanup, 
then you won't accidentally clean up your base paint as well. Tip number two, clean out your paint as much as possible when it is used for panel lining. This is because it's going to help you a lot in the process of panel lining because you want the paint to be thin enough for, that, for it to be easily flow through the lines. Tip number three, choose your panel lining color in contrast with whatever your base paint is. For example, if your base paint is white, then you can go for gray or black color as your panel lining. And if your base color is a dark color, then you can go for silver, you can go for white or anything in contrast. Tip number four, get as much as you can of cotton buds. You can never have enough cotton buds, so please buy a lot of them and then always swap out cotton buds whenever they get dirty so that you will end up with a clean part. Tip number five, leave them to dry for 10 to 15 minutes before you start cleaning them up for the best results because if they are not dry enough, once you start cleaning them, they're gonna get cleaned up as well. So please leave them to dry first. 10 to 15 minutes will do depending on the situation and also your environment. And that's it you guys, if you like the video, please like the video and then comment below what you think and if you have any questions as well, please comment down below. I'm pretty sure someone will help you out by answering the question. If not, I'll be answering them. And also don't forget to subscribe, hitting 70k pretty pretty soon and don't forget to watch my Zaku video as well. I'm doing a giveaway. In the meantime, keep on building. This is Justin from Studio G. I hope you guys learned something today and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.